All right, welcome to the channel. First and foremost, let me apologize about the lack of uh, editing quality and the visual elements in these videos, but I do not have most of my equipment uh, at the moment and I am struggling uh, without it. So I am doing the best I can with what I got and I would rather put out some type of content rather than no content at all. So I do apologize for the quality and I will do the best I can here with, um, with that. So basically this is the start of a new series. And in this series, um, what I want to do is go over uh, what for me are the most popular Linux operating systems that I use and that I enjoy using and learning about on a daily basis. There are obviously thousands of different distributions when it comes to Linux operating systems. You can run Linux in so many different ways and on so many different platforms. Um, but I'm going to do the ones that I think are some of the most popular and the ones that are most notable for me. Now, before we actually get started on installing any of these, and each one of these, by the way, we will be putting on a USB stick. We'll be flashing an image to a USB stick and we'll be running it um, in the form of a live boot, in some cases with persistence, in some cases without persistence. So before we go down the road of various operating systems, we're gonna have to make sure we have a few tools installed in order to be able to flash the images. So this video is going to be dealing with um, one of the one of the most popular tools that is used to flash these images. Um, a lot of tutorials that you'll see on the internet when you want to look something up, how do I flash Kali Linux or Parrot OS to uh, this, this or that, you know, this USB stick or this SD card, you're gonna come across Belena um, a lot. It's one of the more popular ones. So if you go out here to HTTPS um, colon forward slash forward slash etcher dot belena dot io that is where you can download etcher we're doing all of this from a linux based operating system the system that i'm running right now is kali linux so if i click on download etcher it's going to bring us down here to the bottom we're obviously looking for linux etcher for linux we have two choices we're running the 64-bit system so we're going to choose this one right here this is the app image if i click on download it'll go ahead and download I already downloaded it, so I don't need to do that. I'm gonna exit out of that page and show you where it's at. By default, as this system is configured, it is saving downloads inside of the download directory. This is actually a live system that I'm doing all of this on. There is nothing saved, there's nothing configured. So I did that intentionally so there would be nothing cached in the browser. I would have to do everything in real time just as somebody would be doing it um, in real time and trying to figure this out. So if I CD into the downloads directory, there we have our uh, app image that we just downloaded. Let me go ahead and make this a little bit bigger for you to see. Okay, that should be good enough. So we have our app image. It's called Belina Etcher version number and then the dot app image extension at the end. I can run the file command on this and it'll tell us some information about it. It's an ELF 64-bit executable binary. And if we check the permissions and the file size using ls-lh, we see that we do not have execute permissions. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to run chmod plus x in order to give this uh, binary executable permissions. Now when I run ls-l on Belena Etcher, we will see we have the execute bit permission set. Um, I can actually just run this right from here now. It, it is that simple. Now, if this is a system I'm using on a daily basis, um, a better option would be for me to probably rename it to something a little easier, to um, a little more human readable than 
uh, Blaina Etcher dash one dot this dash dot that, and then I would move it into my my bin directory. But just so that you know, all you have to do is is download this app image, um, uh, assign the the execute uh, bit permission with the ch mod plus x, and you can run it right right from the downloads directory. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, do a dot forward slash followed by the name, which is Belena Etcher. And you see we have opened up our um, Belena Etcher program. And this is going to be one of the main tools that we use in order to flash these various uh, operating systems to USB sticks. Another one we'll be using is going to be DD. We don't need to go out and